gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an actress and entrepreneur has been charming us since she was 11 months old. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Drew Barrymore. <laughs> Welcome back. Nice to see you thank again. Thank you. And thank you for playing the SZA song. I love that song so much. I went and did the video. I just did yeah. like a cameo in it and hung out with her for the day. And yeah, she's it was, great. Yeah, it was uh, everything. She's everything. Yeah. And so are you. Oh, <laughs> you're everything well, else. you know I think you're... Look, I'm always happy to have you here, and hopefully we'll see even more of each other because now you're, uh, you're in the CBS family. I am new to the fam. Oh, you're going to love the Tiffany. It's going to be great. <laughs> you're going to love the Tiffany. Uh, you're a judge in a new competition show, yeah. which uh, debuts Super Bowl night. Yes. I understand. Yeah, we're it the is Super called Bowl lead-in. The World's Best. Yeah. Okay, and you're one of the judges. I am. You, RuPaul, Faith Hill, mm -hmm. which is, sounds like a fun group it's... right there. <laughs> It was a Just Add Water Insta Mix best friend scenario. Okay. It really Good to hear it. worked out well. Good to hear it. And then we're led by our fearless uh, leader, James Corden. Very talented young Your man. Your other alum. Uh, yes. Very talented young man. What's the idea of the show? So uh, these are the world's best at something. You know, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and this is the biggest. <laughs> so these people are the best. They are the world's best. How good are the people on this world? It's jaw-dropping, astonishing. I mean, we are there categories? Is it like you know, juggling, singing, you know, uh, 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 tax accounting? <laughs> By the way, wouldn't that be useful? That would be that would be nice. Yeah. Um, actually, in fact, that's like a new idea for a show. Had like life hacks on steroids. Mm -hmm. So you think you can math? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you try to get someone tries to get away with a crime. Wouldn't that be fun? It's, so it's you think Eddie. you can embezzle. Right. <laughs> Do you have a secret talent? Are you really are you the world's best at at, at something? Uh, I like picking up stuff with my feet a lot, you know, if you're um, <laughs> like when you're when you gotta get it done, the foot is an extra hand. <laughs> well, There is a woman out there, Blanche, who completely understands exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> when you, especially when you have kids. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you've got a kid in one hand and a phone in the other. There's no way you're not going to go and grab that Ricola and not, God darn it. Hang on. Again. There we go. Thank you. I'm so impressed. I'll just, I'll just put these back in the bowl. <laughs> I, I'm a feet grabber. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm really happy do you that pinch? you... Do you pinch with your toes? Uh, pinch what? You, you pinch somebody. Use your toes to pinch oh, people. Oh, no. They're really just for, like, uh, utilitarian work. <laughs> They're just for fine work, <laughs> surgery, and stuff like that. They're just when I need an extra hand. <laughs> Here, what? <laughs> I know. Uh, do you, people must be terrified when they come on the show, though. World's best? Yeah. Well, yeah, because, you know, I think that it's like in any Olympic sport or that moment where you've worked so hard up until this moment and this is a shot for you. Yeah. Those kind of stakes. I can't imagine the type of nerves they bring on. You have to be able to imagine, because you've no, been performing I since don't. you were 11 months. You have you, you yeah, have 11 to, months old. You has to have got... I sh crap that diaper with nerves. <laughs> or you had to, you, had you ever get stage fright? Uh, no. Really? I live for the stage. I came out of the womb, like, with a martini and a cigarette, and I was like, let's do this. I believe you. I believe you. And I felt that way ever since. I cannot relate to that. Um, but what I can relate to is knowing that it all 
rests in this moment. And I think that's why we watch things like the Olympics. That's why we, you know, watch football. It's the clutch. It's like you, you know that this is the moment where it gets made or broken. And there that, is no tomorrow. There, there, this is your, maybe there's a tomorrow, but it's, tomorrow's not going to be so fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just think there's that heightened human experience where you know it's all on the line right now, and we as spectators live for that. So I think, you know, also hearkening back to good old fashioned family television when we kind of, you know, were doing this with the kids and it wasn't like, well, I'm on episode seven and well, I'm on, it's like, I can't keep up with everybody. This is actually something everyone can watch together and like water cooler about, and That's it's nice. for all ages, and That's I like lovely. that. You know what everybody agrees on? Everybody in this building, at least. Today, we all watched um, Never Been Kissed. We watched, <gasps> oh. we watched the trailer. We watched the trailer of Never Been Kissed. Oh. It's the 20th anniversary of Never Been Kissed That's this the attention year. span today. It's yeah. like as if you had watched it. Well, I have a job. I was yeah, I know. the day. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't I watch the whole it. thing. I wanted to watch the whole thing. I watched it, and I was like, 90s, movies. How old are your I kids? Them. How old are my kids? Yeah. Uh, early 40s. <laughs> My kids, my kids are in their uh, teens and early twenties. Well, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Who was the, who was your first kiss? Mm, God, who was my Brecken Meyer? <gasps> he was an actor. He's an actor. He's around. Brecken Meyer. He still too is also, you know. Really? Can you tell us how it went down? Can you tell us? It was great. He was adorable, and my friend kept scorecards. Mm, first kiss. Mm. Okay, second, second French. Ooh, scorecards. <laughs> She kept a scorecard of your kisses? Yeah, it was like almost like a She did play talk by about play. spectator sport. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Where are those cards now? <laughs> right in here. <laughs> the next movie you play, uh, we were talking backstage just a second ago. You actually play uh, a, a star who has a stand in, and the stand in looks exactly like her, and the stand in actually takes over her life. So she gets sort of back away from the stardom and the stand in has to or gets to do it all. I, Have you ever wanted that I, for you? Let somebody, <laughs> else, let somebody else be Drew Barrymore for a while. Uh, I think, you know, anyone who probably like me, like you, unless you got the uh, delightful John Travolta, Nick Cage face-off plant thing that, like, unless you could switch faces with you someone. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know if I did. Well, you can't be anyone than who you are. And when we're in our jobs, you are in the hospitality business, and you are in the people business. And I love people, and I love what I do. I, I'm not cynical at all, and I'm very appreciative. I've had an extraordinary life, and I'm also that kind of, like, spiritual hippie that's like, every moment's an exchange for people to, like, brighten each other's day, no matter has nothing to do with who I am. Like, that's just actually who I am inside. That's actually a lovely thing to say, but you're saying it in a way that's making fun of what you believe. Well, I'm making fun of myself because I am really, like, someone who believes in, you know, I think some people feel like that person didn't look in my eyes or they overpassed me or I'm in a moment where, I don't know, I just think how many people feel appreciated and connected to in a moment throughout their day, and so that's part of who I am on the inside, and then I got this on the outside, and that brings a whole other thing, but sometimes, <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying is, is I'm stuck here, unless I want to move into a bomb shelter, so I've made peace with this. However, there is a secret side of me that would totally love to, and go through life not knowing what any of this is like. So uh, maybe this is my chance. I didn't follow all of that. <laughs> but I appreciate you, and I see you, and I respect you. Let me clarify. I'm going into a film where I played two people. It's a little schizophrenic. It's like that, it's like that split movie. It's, um, but it's two different people. It's not twins, and it's not a double of. It's two distinct women. So it's honestly like the acting challenge of a lifetime. I hope I do a damn good job. I've got my work it. cut out for me. You're gonna kill it. You came out of the womb like this. Let's do it. So lovely to see you. The world's best premieres Sunday, February 3rd, right after the Super Bowl on CBS.